Good morning. Um, it is, I am Chris Igo. Uh, I am your host this morning. Um, so Chris Igo, Igo Home Group, powered by Remax Direct. Going to go live here in a, uh, in a few minutes. <clears throat> And make my uh, make my morning calls like I uh, like I always do, um, and I do them live here. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a uh, my high school Letterman's jacket, um, and uh, I'm doing that to uh, to show some eagle pride. So my my high school was the was the high school. Um, well, I almost started crying. Um, Stoneman Douglas is my uh, my alma mater. I graduated in '93, and uh, Parkland is where I grew up. Um, it's a uh, it's a very spe special place for me. Um, you know, my my high school experience there was um, was amazing. It was magical, and some of the friends that. Uh, Actually, all the friends that I have now um, were from my my experiences there at at Stoneham and Douglas. Um, so to, to say I was uh, deeply impacted and affected by the horrible tragedy that happened there is an understatement. Um, and uh, it, it's, this is not about me. It's you know this is about the victims and and. and and everybody else who's been impacted by this horrible tragedy, but um, you know, so my my heart my heart goes out to everybody uh, impacted by this. My uh, it's just it's just the worst possible. <laughs> it's you know th this is the type of thing that always happens to somebody else. It doesn't it doesn't hit this close to home, and um, when it does, it's uh, it hurts. It really hurts. Um, but uh, my thoughts and prayers are with the victims and with the families and with, with uh, everyone who was um, devastated by this, uh, this horrible tragedy. Um, and, I, and I just pray that everybody uh, finds the peace that they, uh, that they, that they need. So, um, Moment of silence. If you, I, I, it's a Facebook group. I do my lab calls. You know, bow your head and give, just give a, uh, a moment of silence to uh, the victims and everybody impacted by this tragedy. All right. So, um, so look, uh, how do you get back on the phone when you've been deeply impacted by a, uh, a major tragedy like this? Um, you know, I, I personally don't want to appear tone deaf to, uh, to what's, what's just happened. And, uh, and I'm not. So, um, that being said, you know, I, I still have business co to conduct and a, a business to run. And there are still, uh, people that are out there that, um, in need of selling their, their homes. Um, I will not call Parkland today. <laughs> I probably won't call Parkland for a while. Um, I will not call Coral Springs today. Um, and I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm always respectful and, um, uh, polite or whatever on the phone, empathetic on the phone, but uh, today I, I will really <clears throat> do my best to uh, to dial that in because, uh, look, this is, a, you know, the, the community of, uh, I, think, I, don't, I don't know, I guess the whole country is raw. I, I don't know what it's like anywhere else. I can tell you that here in South Florida, there's a lot of people that are hurting badly, and, uh, and my heart goes out to everybody, and, and frankly, I'm one of them too, so... Um, you know, it's I, if you uh, if you're my friend on Facebook, you know that um, you know uh, I, it's Aaron, um, which is the the coach who is a hero who jumped in front of uh, 
in front of some girls to, to save their lives and ended up giving his own life. I had coached him, um, you know, 20 plus years ago when, uh, when I was fortunate enough to coach JV football at Stoneman Douglas. And, um, he was a remarkable young man. Um, again, I'm not current <laughs> in, in his life experience and it's just, I, I, but I coached this young man and I remember him, you know, you don't remember everybody over the, you know, as you get older, you don't remember everybody, you just don't, but I remember him and, uh, and recently he had, uh, connected with me on Facebook and we had a nice exchange and, uh, so when I saw his name and I realized who it was, I just couldn't, it's just, it's just devastating. And he's, you know, he's got a family, he's got, he's got a child, um, he's a brother, he's a father, he's a husband, he's a coach, he's a friend, and uh, he's just like me. And he, he, there's a lot of people who just went to school that day and then didn't come back. And it's, it's, uh, it's sad. It's sad. So, uh, so, you know, uh, on that same note, look, I don't, I'm not trying to politically grandstand here or whatever, but the, you have children. If you see something off, say something, step up, accountability, responsibility. As a parent, when you see something wrong, if you see your kids, uh, I don't know, it's, <laughs> Do something. Fucking do something. That's all. If you see something off, do something. Be responsible. Step up. And uh, I'm not pointing the finger at anybody. I don't I don't know what the I don't have the solution. Gun control, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just at the end of the day, do the right thing. Be responsible. And um I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too far off topic because I, I could <laughs> Go fucking crazy here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, all right, so let's see. There are how many leads to call today? <clears throat> uh, all right, so there are 34 available records. What's up, Jay? <clears throat> Good morning. There are 34 available records. Uh, 20 will be sent to the dialer. Again, none of those are going to be in the uh, in the Parkland or Coral Springs area. Um, and if they are, then I missed one and I'll, I'll handle that in real time. But away we go. So long story short, I don't feel like calling today. <laughs> let me just be uh, let me just be upfront. Uh, but that's not. That's not a reason to get on the phone, to not get on the phone. <clears throat> so, so with all that in mind, let's go get some, get shit done. <clears throat> yeah, thanks, Jay. That's terrible. How do you, so the question is, and I guess, how do you get on the phone when you feel like shit and you, uh, you're, you're suffering and you don't want to? And you're, you're sad. How do you do it? You just fucking do it. <clears throat> That's how you do it. You just do it. But I'm repping, but I'm repping Douglas, baby. Eagle pride. We are strong. We are resilient. We will overcome. And, um, and that's the, well, if I don't stop talking, I will not be able to die. <laughs> we will not be able to get shit done. So, but that's it. Um, sometimes you just got to put one foot in front of the other and uh, continue to do that. Mom, good morning. I've never seen you on here live. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother, Mary Noreen Igo. Uh, or my father watching in my mom's account, but, um, good morning, mom and dad. Love you. And now we're going to make some dials respectfully <clears throat> and not call Parkland and not call Coral Springs. 
But as I said, you look, you got to put one foot in front of the other and you still got to take care of business. So, so away we go. Eagle Pride. And uh, yes, this is uh, my high school letterman's jacket. And yes, it still fits. Forward into an automated voice messaging system. Joe, Captain Zaro. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send it back, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey Joe, it's Chris Igo with Remax Direct. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? We specialize in selling properties just like this, and uh, if you would, I'd like to uh, bend your ear. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. <clears throat> I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bend your ear. I haven't used that in a very long time. Please leave your message after the tone. When finished, hang up or press the pass. Well, evidently I missed one in Coral Springs. I'm not going to call Coral Springs. And I thought I had scrubbed the list through, but I'm only human. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like this. We've sold 15,000 since 2008. We're averaging one a day. And if you would, I'd like to uh, discuss it a bit further. Look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, man. What dialer do you use? The voicemail box of 9545594082. I will answer that. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. We specialize in selling properties just like this. We've sold 15,000 since 2008. We're averaging one a day. My direct number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Four, two. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, so, Marietta, um, my system is such that I get the data from Vulcan 7, which is, uh, I think, Vulcan7.com. Check them out. Uh, that's my data provider. I import that data into Mojo Dialer, which is, uh, you can check out at MojoCells.com. And... Uh, I do that because the dialer is a triple line dialer. It makes me more effective. I can dial more numbers faster. And, um, and so that's what I do. And if you're looking for um, more direction or guidance on what that looks like from a, a screen perspective, just scroll down. I've got videos where uh, I actually walk you through the process of, of what that looks like. <clears throat> Good morning, Lisa. We are. Hello. This... Please leave your message for nine five four six zero five three seven eight zero. Good morning. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious. How on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is five six one five one six two four four two. 
Again, 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like this. We've sold 15,000 since 2008. We're averaging one a day, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks, Lisa. I appreciate that. It's um, so mine. Mine does too. It's uh. Hello. Hello. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. Can you me from your list? Oh, I'd be happy to. Hey, did you get any offers on the property while it was listed? Yeah, uh, at least it sucks. Um, there's no, no two ways about it. Um, I, I couldn't make the dials yesterday. Um, I really felt like I couldn't make them today either, but, um, to an automatic voice message system. but I'm doing it anyway. Zero. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like yours. We've sold 15,000 since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Um, and I would like to bend your ear in regards to getting this sold. So I look forward to connecting with you soon. I'm on a roll with this. Uh, um, bend your ear. <clears throat> All right. So, um, again, and I, I've already said this in in here but how do you get on the phone when you don't want to get on the phone or you're emotionally overwhelmed Hello? good morning this is chris igo with yeah, Remax. you know what my husband just told you not to call oh good well that's why i wanted to talk to you did... okay did you get any offers on the property while it was listed So, how do you do that? You just do it. <clears throat> What's up, Rudy? Good morning. Eagle Pride. Eagle Pride. We will, uh, we will overcome. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? They listed my phone number with that property. This is a private phone. Oh my goodness, that is, uh, that's frustrating. Okay, I'll, I'll take you off the list yeah. so you don't get any more phone calls. Um, I, I am curious. I would certainly appreciate it because it was Oh man, yeah, that's uh, that's tough. Hey, do you know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help? No, I don't. But I would certainly um, appreciate you taking my number off. Oh, I'll be happy to do that. You have a great day. God bless. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. <clears throat> yeah, Rudy. Sometimes you just got to uh, disconnect. Um, from the, uh, the emotions and, um, and just get shit done, which is, uh, what I'm doing right now. Cause full disclosure, I don't really feel like making these dials today. Good morning. This Hello? is, Hey, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious how on earth did the property not sell? Oh wow! Okay, that's uh, you, your your numbers associated with an expired listing in the uh, in the MLS. Um, I will take you out of my uh, database so you don't get any more phone calls. 
Uh, yeah, no problem. Hey, are you thinking about selling ever? Okay. Well, I I respect that. Um, would it offend you if if I texted you my contact information in this way? If your real estate needs change, or you happen to know anybody looking to buy or sell, you know where to find me. Is that all right? Okay. Okay. Super. Hey, what's your okay. best What's your best email address? No, I, I don't want to because nobody's interested that in right now. Okay. Well, I I appreciate your time this morning. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 Now. So as we're as we're dialing, my phone is blowing up from people here locally that I suspect want to uh, reconnect, and uh, it's just draining. It's it's sad, I, and I, I will talk to these people, but and I want to talk to these people, but it's just uh, God, this this whole thing fucking sucks. Um, Hello, please leave a message after the tone. So, so put on the smile and good morning. This is Chris Igo with uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. In fact, thank you for reminding me of that and making me laugh. I will absolutely do that. <clears throat> So we're uh, about halfway through the list, 10 to 20. <clears throat> Rudy, that's because you are not very professional. Unless you're very professional. <clears throat> uh, uh. Good. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like this. Uh, we've sold 15,000 since 2008. We're averaging one a day. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you in regards to uh, getting the property sold. So have a great day. Sell, sell, sell. Yep, that is correct. Love you too, Rudy. Big hug to you, your family, your children. I love the uh, <laughs> the video you posted the other day with uh, with your daughter singing in the car. Uh, I suspect we could get the children together and create a band. Hello? Good morning. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. Uh, I noticed your property listing. Is it for sale? But is your property for sale by owner? Is that true? Yes, that's correct. Okay, that is fantastic news. Um, how much are you asking for the property? Four ninety. Four hundred ninety thousand. Okay, I love it. Um, how many? Yeah. How many bedrooms, how many baths? Two, two. Two, two, okay. Have you done any uh, upgrades? Yeah. Any upgrades or improvements? Everything is upgraded. Every, everything is upgraded. Everything is brand new. Fantastic, okay. From the ceilings uh, to the walls to the floors to the appliances to the bathrooms, everything. From the windows to it's the like walls? A brand, a brand new house. Win yeah, windows, window treatments, everything. Awesome. Let me ask you something. All the electricity, all plumbing, everything. I, I love all it. So let me ask you this though, because I, I know it's in the uh, in the listing. It's coming up as year built is uh, 1953. Have you thought about maybe uh, updating yeah. that with the city so you could get it listed as a uh, as a newer property? Has that a thought occurred to you? <laughs> has it occurred? If you've redone the entire house, has it occurred to you to maybe go to the city? Sir, are you there? Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Well, let, let me ask you something, and, and I'll be very candid with you. Are you trying to sell the property by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is that because you hate realtors? Okay, yeah, and you know what? You, what you, you very well might sell it yourself. I'll, I'll be candid with you. I'm, I'm with REMAX Direct. Uh, we've got nine offices down here in South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Um, with the lack of inventory that's out there, there is a, there's a strong possibility you might sell it yourself. Uh, but let me ask you this. If oh, you, it's, on the, it's on the MLS. It is on the MLS. Okay, I didn't see it there. Yeah, it's, Who, it's on, on the MLS, yeah. Who did you list with? Oh, it's a, it's a flat fee. Okay, um, that's, hey, I get it. Um, let me ask you this. If you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the home will absolutely sell. Two, you'll end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could get any other way, with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. No, I had a, I had a real to come to me last week. One, he had a look around it, him and his partner. They loved it and they said they could get uh, 545000 for it. I said, no, it's four ninety. it'll sell its own merits. Mm -hmm. it, it very, it very yeah. well might. Would it, would it offend you if I ran an analysis as it relates to price and emailed it to you so that we're both fluent and speaking the same language? If I ran in and out, because look, if you look at 490, you might be 100% right as it relates to price. But what I'd like to do, so we're both on the same page and see if I could perhaps add value to you, is run an analysis on the price so that we're both fluent and speaking the same language. Is that all right? Okay. But that's what it's uh to put extra profit he's got for he's having the he's got brand new put swimming pool in it. Right. He's having the put the brand new pool. He see it's literally a brand new house, doesn't it? All new uh, sprinkler system, everything. So so how did you come up with the price? If 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 the realtor's coming up with I five feet. The realtor told me that it'd be worth like five sixty. Okay. So Oh, no, I get it. Now, but let me ask you this. Um, how did you come up with that pricing? Okay, well, that, that's so good. You, I got it. All right, so let me ask you this. If, uh, if you were to get a million dollars by guessing this number correctly, what do you think a buyer would pay for your property right now, realistically? Okay. All right. Well, here's what, here's what I'd like to do. Here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. Okay. And I get that you're, you're in the MLS. I didn't see that when I called, but what I'd like to do, obviously I'd like to uh, text you my contact information so that you have it. If at any point your real estate needs change, if you need a second opinion, if you have any questions or concerns as it relates to the sale of your home, I want you to be able to reach out to me. In addition to that, yeah, um, okay. let, yeah, let me, that, yeah. oh, okay, perfect. I, I appreciate that. Um, but in addition to that, one of the things that I, I like to do with uh, for sale by owners is that I like to offer a, a value, a, I like to create win-wins and create a valuated situation for you. So what I'd like to consider or have you to consider is doing a mega open house. Here's what that is. I would advertise and promote on your behalf a mega open house and drive buyers to your property, okay? The buyers that are interested in your property, they are yours 100%. I'm not gonna ask for them. Um, if you want help or support in you know paperwork or whatever, I can do that, but they're yours, okay? The flip side of that is, in many cases, the buyers that we drive there that, that come to see your property, it's not gonna be a good fit for them for whatever reason. Those buyers, I would want to be able to retain and work with. So it helps you by creating a, a situation where you have buyers 
it helps me where I, I also create a situation where we have potential uh, buyers to work with. Is that something you'd be willing to consider? Yeah, I'll think about it, yeah. I'll think about it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. What's the uh, what's the property address on that one? That's twenty six 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 zero one. Yeah. We see a couple of a year or so ago that a realtor try and sell that. Okay. He screwed me. Never told me. You know what I mean? But he did. He told me he was clever. He did the dirty where he listed it for a year. That won't be agreement. What me did. Oh, wow. And then I, I rented it, and then come back after a year. I was unindicted with fucking agents saying to me, Well, now the listing has ended. I said, What are you fucking on about? It ended. <laughs> it ended fucking 10 months ago. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. You was tied in. I said, Well, I'll never be fucking tied in again. Well, I don't like people. I just do a right fucking job, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what you say? So look, I I, I like that the. Big, that was a big agent, you know. Well, if you're gonna fucking lie to get someone to sell it, that that's not me, you know. It's not me either. And, and look, there there are there are bad agents out there. Okay, one of the things that I offer for every listing that I ever take, just so you know, is you have an immediate out clause. So if at any point I was not performing the way I said I would when we meet and when we talk, you have the ability essentially to fire me for no for any reason, no hassle, no obligation, no cost to you. And that's that's just the way I roll. So, um, OK, what, what if we were to do this? Um, so the property address that you're talking about is twenty six six zero one. And is that also on 8th Street or is where where is that? No, that's not. 6th Street, okay. So so here's what I'd like to do, okay? Uh, I'd like to create a uh, an analysis as it relates to price on that one and email it to you so this way you remember who I am if at any point your real estate needs change. What is your best email address? I will not spam you. I know I'm a big email. Okay. I don't do email. I'm old-fashioned. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like a telephone call. I don't like to, I don't do email, I don't do booking computer shit, I don't like that. <laughs> but I've got someone who's got it on the, uh, the MLS for me. Okay. Right, so it's, uh, it's on there. Is it possible for, for me to actually come and lay eyes on the property and meet with you for 15 minutes to discuss how we actually get our, our clients more property net to them? Faster and with less stress than any other method possible. What? Okay, awesome. What's what is? All right, cool. Are you in the? Do you live there or no? No, 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 no. It's never been lived in since been done. Okay. Everything brand new. Got it. All right. I love it. Where are you? It's like moving into a brand new axe. It is a brand new axe. Okay. Well, look, I'm going to be transparent. I would love, I, I would love to be your realtor for life, and uh, and that only starts by us uh, meeting and actually getting to uh, getting to know each other. When would be a good? When would be? That's great. When would be a good time for uh, me to meet with you and uh, see the property? Do you uh, What if we were to do this, okay? Because today's obviously Friday. Um, I'm looking at my schedule here, and I actually, the only reason I say this, I, I book, I, I do high volume business, and I book pretty quickly. I've got availability uh, Monday afternoon and evening, and Wednesday afternoon and evening. No, Monday's now, but I'm busy Monday. Okay. Let's... Um, Okay. Okay. 
So, so here's what I'm going to throw out to you. And look, we, we can, if, if it doesn't work, we can change it. I just want to have visibility in my own calendar and schedule so I know I have time to meet you. Can I put you down for Thursday at 11 a.m.? And then uh, I'll obviously follow up. So, no, no, he's 7 a.m. to 5 uh, Okay, so we'll let's... Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'm going to put you down for Thursday at 5.30. I'll confirm it on Wednesday. If we okay. have to move it around, that's fine. I just want to know I've got the time. So I'll put you down for Thursday, yeah. 5.30. What I'm going to do, I'm going to text you. my The number I called is your cell phone, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So I'm going to text you my contact information so that you have it. I'll follow up with you on Wednesday just to confirm that we're on for Thursday at 5.30. Let me ask you this. When I sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? If I let you do it again. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, cool. So I, I'll look forward to uh, seeing you Thursday at 530, all right? All right, okay. All right, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jay. Um, so yeah, that guy, that guy uh, <clears throat> tried to blow me off the phone. His property's already listed, blah, 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 blah. Come to find out he's got another property. He probably has several. And that's a guy I want to, uh, and he curses and he sounds like he might be Irish. So hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax and blah, 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 blah. <coughs> um, so, it was like I was talking to uh, a relative. Hello. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? He hung up. <clears throat> so... Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. Now, proof positive that you get. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was a eh, bad number. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? I'm I can't help you. Okay, maybe I can help you. Uh, well, it was listed. Did you have I'm any... Not interested. Please don't call me again. Okay, well, while I have you on the phone, in closing, I'm curious... Please don't call me. I'm not going to call you, but I do want to ask you one question before we hang up. Did you have any offers on the property while it was listed? <laughs> uh, all right. So, so what I was saying was, uh, momentum. It's forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five, mm. six. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like yours. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. And uh, I'd love to bend your ear in regards to getting the property sold. I look forward to speaking with you soon.
but so yeah, I, I did not feel like calling this morning. Um, emotionally, I did not feel like making these dials. Um, so I'm 17 deep, almost done with this list. I set an appointment. Hello, this is. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. We specialize in selling properties just like this. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day, and I'd love an opportunity to bend your ear as it relates to getting it sold. I look forward to connecting with you soon. But, um, as I've gathered momentum uh, through putting in the reps, putting one foot in front of the other, dialing, um, it's like riding a bike. Uh, you know, I got some momentum, and now I feel... I got over the initial, not that I got over, I still feel like shit, don't get me wrong. Um, Thank you for calling Lockboard. If you know your party's extension, you can dial it at any time. But, look, you know, at the end of the day, shit still needs to get done. And, um, and the only way that you get shit done is by taking action. So, um, so that's what I did. I took action, made the dials, um, put my blinders on and, um, you know, look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not minimizing how I feel, but at the end of the day, you got to pick yourself up. You got to dust yourself off. You have to, you have to move forward. And, uh, and that's, that's what it is with, with everything in life. Right. So, um, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, and that's what you should do. So, I'm not going to be defeated by anything, and uh, and neither are, and neither's anybody I roll with. So that's it. That's um, I don't even know what that was. That was uh, what 20, 20 records to call. I don't. I closed the screen, so I'm not sure how many contacts I made. But one appointment on a guy who I had to keep pushing to uh, get more information from and. And eventually did land the appointment. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, for me, today feels like a, a, a small victory because, um, again, I did not feel like getting on the phone. Um, and I did it, and I got the result that I wanted. So, um, so that's it. Get shit done. Persevere. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Keep moving forward. And, um, and you'll have a... Uh, a good day too. So God bless. Good luck. Go Eagles. Eagle pride. Love it out. And uh, if nobody told you that they love you today, I do.